This is three-time PGA Tour winner Krista Marco, now 46, who returns to the Middle East with proud memories of capturing this title still fresh in the mind. You know, this was an unbelievable opportunity in 2006 for me to do it. Obviously, I was playing really good. I felt like my game was in a really good spot um, at that time. There's no doubt about it. And, you know, to come over here and, and, and play against the best and then actually go out and win the tournament was very self-satisfying. Also retracing her steps to Abu Dhabi is DeMarco's wife, Amy, who proved an invaluable support system nine years ago, especially when Saturday began shakily. Well, it really wasn't unexpected because, I mean, at that time I was going in every week thinking I could win. Um, I do know that the third round I, I got up to a bad start. I mean, I started out on number one right over here and, and made double right out of the gate the, um, the third round, and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that down to myself and she kind of gave me a kick in the butt and said, you know, let's let's go. And I actually had a putt on the last hole to shoot 61. So um, it worked. Whatever she said to me, it worked. And, um, you know, it just gave me, I guess, a lot of confidence. I mean, I just kind of went out and just played flawless golf for two days. Around that time, DeMarco spent 61 consecutive weeks inside the world's top 10 and he rose to a career high of six following his second place finish to Tiger Woods in the 2006 yep. Open at Hoylake, watched by son Christian. My son got to see some of it. I mean, he got he followed me off all those rounds at the British Open um, when I lost in 06 by a shot to Tiger. So he got to kind of feel it, but my other two daughters really never understood what I did. So okay. we brought our daughters with us this year. Um, just so they can experience this. And I mean, they told their schools where they were going and their, their teachers are like, go, don't worry about any homework. You just go take pictures, enjoy the culture and everything. So, you know, that part of it I love is the fact that, you know, we're able to embrace that. For them to be able to come out and see me compete and, and kind of, you know, do what my job is about, it, it's, it's pretty neat for me because they, they, they love it. They, they look at me and go, but oh, you do do that. Your, chart, your phone charged? Yeah? Sort of. What'd you do? I certainly felt like after I won here in 06 that I kind of was going to get catapulted and, and, and go on from there. And I kind of hurt myself in the middle of 06 and it kind of just became a long line of, of injuries, shoulder and wrist and finger and just different things. And, um, you know, golf's such a fickle game. It takes <clears throat> so much effort and time to build that confidence to a certain level where you feel comfortable. And you're never more comfortable than when surrounded by family. Oh. Nice. That'll get me up there at least where I can probably get home in three now. <laughs> when she caddies for me, nothing but support. And then it also lets me go out and play my game. I'm not being influenced by a caddy. Um, not. She's a an okay golfer, but she doesn't know how to read a green, or she doesn't know whether I should nine iron or eight iron. So all these decisions I'm making on myself. So I guess there's really nobody to blame but myself. Having known each other since seventh grade, there's only one of them in charge when Amy is shouldering the clubs. Yeah. You know, I'll ask her questions. What do you think, four or five? And she goes, I don't know. Just hit it on the green. That's what she says. So I love that. Her, her, you know, right to the point, basically. What do you think it's going to do? I don't know. Make it. You know, I mean, it's, it's. Yeah, I love it. I mean, it's just matter of fact and direct. Sounds easy. Easy. It does sound easy when she says it. That's why maybe I play good when she's on the bag. <laughs> Way better. Come on, Caddy. <laughs> you see, every now and then, Chris finds himself in charge. <laughs>